buy the truth and sell it not. It seems to me as I travel that we sort of have two groups of people. You remember when uh, uh, Abraham dug the wells? And Isaac came along. And the Philistines had filled in the wells. So he thought, well, I'll just go dig some other wells somewhere. And the enemy came and said, no, you can't do that. This isn't your territory. You get back to those old wells that your father dig. Even the enemy knew better than that. And so he finds his way back to the old wells of the promises of God. But they're full of rubble. The Philistines did it. And so they had to dig the wells out again. So we have two groups of people today, it seems. There are some of those standing over there who are advocating new wells. And there are other people standing by the, the wells that are full of rubble saying, these are the original wells. Want to have your picture taken by the well here? But nobody's enjoying the water because the wells are full of rubble. In other words, every generation has to discover the truth all over again for themselves. You just can't pass the truth on. See, my generation, we grew up in the easy ozy years, the post-war generation. Want a college education? Here, kid, have it. Want a job? Here, have it. Want a car? Have it. Want, want some money? Here, go ahead, have it. Everything handed to us. You can't do that with the truth. You have to buy the truth. You have to buy it. And so you see, there was a generation of young people who grew up who were taught to doubt everything at school. Not just question it. That's a good thing, to question it. That's the Berean principle. But to doubt everything. And they came into conflict with a generation that had been taught everything by rote. This is the way you do it. They said, what do we do this for anyway? Now, you watch it, young man. That sounds like rebellion to me. Well, what do you do it for? Now, you just do it because we say so. Well, that didn't work, see? And so there was this conflict, a generation that doubted everything, and a generation that had been taught just to follow the leader and do it by rote. Well, the fact is, we've got to get back to the book and find out what the truth of God says for ourselves, young people. Dig out the well. It's hard work, you know. Sure, it would be nice if we just turn on the faucet and get the water, but it doesn't come that easily. You've got to dig out the rubble. Same water, same well, same truth of God, but you've got to get it for yourself. We have to have our own dealings with God. Don't understand a Bible verse? Ask your folks. They'll tell you what it means. Got a problem? Tell your folks. They'll pray for you. And so everything becomes second-hand Christianity. Hand me down. We never have any real dealings with God for ourselves. And oh, how we need that today. Now, that's hard work, but it's worth it. Buy the truth and sell it not.